Good afternoon, Tube of Views. Uh, in this episode of this video thing that I do, uh, I do not show you how to replace a crank pulley on a Ford 3 liter. Instead, I've decided that uh, since basically you take off this tube and this cover and undo the belt, remove four bolts, replace the said crank pulley way down there and uh, put it all back together and see if it still squeaks, which it shouldn't because I think this is going to fix it. I decided that since I, my research anyway, shows me that this squeaky belt problem is apparently a common thing on the higher mileage uh, three liters that I would show you the parts that I found to fix said problem. Um, because I myself kind of had a little bit of a difficult time putting together the two parts that, uh, that I needed. Um, the first part is actually an auto specialties pulley. I uh, got it off of Summit for $103.99. It is an ASP 821120. Now, be forewarned, this is an underdrive pulley, which means that your belts are going to spin a little slower. Uh, your charging may not be as good at idle. Uh, fan isn't going to spin as fast. Alternator, uh, excuse me, radiator is not going to spin as fast. This is actually designed as some form of a performance upgrade. I really don't, uh, I don't believe too much in three liter performance because anything you're going to get out of a three liter is just kind of going to bring you up to, you know, par or average. Uh, so the other thing that I had a really hard time finding and, and I had to do a little bit of checking and looking to find it was the belt size. Um, now, what is supposed to work, and we are going to find out here today, uh, is if this uh, belt is actually going to be the right size with the smaller uh, underdrive pulley. Um, but, at any rate, as you can see, it is a part number K060864, and uh, you should be able to get this belt at any part store that you've got near you. Shush, shush, shush. I don't want to play duck right now. Hey, be good, be good, be still. So what we're going to do now is, uh, just like I said, we're going to, well, I've obviously removed the intake tube, the cover here to get to the intake tube uh, clamp. We're going to take the belt off. And uh, there is, as you can see here, four bolts that uh, have to be taken out in order to remove this pulley four bolts to put the pulley back on, uh, put the new belt on, and uh, make sure that the belt is going to fit the way that I think that it should, and hopefully this thing will stop that dreadful squealing that, uh, you know, has been driving me nuts for a while now. So let's uh, go ahead and I will get on with it and show you guys the hopefully successful aftermath. So YouTube, I actually found a teachable moment in this very mundane task that I'm doing. Um, so, uh, yeah, and yes, I know I ended up uh, taking off the fan and the shroud, which makes it just a little easier to get down to the crank pulley down here. However, I started turning the bolts, found out that they were pretty tight, and I could not hold the crank in place. So what I did, an old trick I learned here, took a belt, the belt that came off of this, wrapped it around the crank pulley, and then doubled it up on itself so that it pulls. I hope that you guys can see. I'm actually going to get a light here. So you guys can see that I've got this belt doubled back on itself. Took a wrap around the crank, rolled the crank over, took the belt up, run it around the alternator, and down to the water pump pulley. And so what this does is it works kind of like a strap wrench. Um, and so, hang on just a second here. So, let's see, the light down here. So, as I turn these bolts, I got a couple that are 
still pretty tight in here. They're just tighter than I thought they were going to be. I thought this was all just going to come apart real easy and uh, be quick and dirty, but you know, sometimes. But as I turn, the belt doesn't turn because the rubber is gripping onto the belt, lapped up over itself, which keeps that belt tight on the pulley. And then of course is anchored to the water pump pulley. So maybe, uh, hopefully, you guys uh, learn a little trick here to help you in some of your pulley removing endeavors. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep moving here. We'll get the crank pulley replaced and uh, show you guys what happens. Well, we got her done. The uh, tube is back on, fan back in place, belt in place as it should be. And I am going to have my lovely assistant, Kayla, hold the camera and we can find out if this thing still squeaks. Oh, there we go. You gotta get up close. Well, I was gonna open the door, but... No, I'm not gonna run it for very long. Well, still exhaust fumes. Here goes nothing. Green's supposed to turn off? Yeah. Okay. No more squeaky squeaky. You can just uh, I don't know if that you're... hear all of the power that is being produced by that underdrive pulley that I have installed to stop the squeak mm -hmm. on this 3 liter Ranger. So, until another video, I hope you guys have found that helpful. And uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and do all of the YouTubery things that uh, you guys have uh, been doing. So yeah, see you in another video.